Hey guys, so this is Lance Sinclair. Thank you so much for deciding to listen. Now, as you already know, you're going to go into hypnosis. So make sure you're not driving or operating in a machinery. You'll be in a place free from distractions and interruptions. So once you can say with your hand on your heart, I know I'm ready for this. I'm ready and willing to have this experience. And you know that in this place, nobody can interrupt you then please engage, sit comfortably, or lie down comfortably somewhere and get ready for this trance. The goal of this hypnosis is so that you can step into your best self, so that you can get rid of self-consciousness, of low self-esteem, so that your unconscious mind can do what it does best, and create all the necessary changes so that you can step into your best self and achieve the things you want to achieve and feel confident and feel amazing. You won't know exactly why you feel so good, but at the end of it, you will feel absolutely wonderful. And you will be able to see tangible, measurable changes in your life after listening to this audio. So right now, sit down comfortably or lie down comfortably. And before we begin, I should say, I'm very glad to be working with you right now. That you are listening. And by you, I mean a person who knows what they want and goes after it. Instead of a dull-witted mind, the kind you might find in a gutter someplace arguing with everyone mad at the world, because when I see them, they keep shifting around, scratching itches, never getting comfortable, thinking they know it all. Just close your eyes now for me. You see, no one can tell them what to do, not even to help them. And they refuse to learn or do anything that might get them to climb out of that place and take care of themselves. So it is nice to know that anyone with your intelligence can easily learn how to let themselves drift into trance now with a deep inhale and exhale. So you can sit there in that chair right now, or lie there in that couch or that bed, here while you try to be aware of the exact meaning of the words you hear, and of all the changes that occur there in your thoughts, sensations, or awareness as I speak here. Or you can forget about trying to make all the unnecessary effort to pay close attention to everything that happens or does not happen in your experience as you listen to me and also to your own thoughts or to your sensations that change over time or stay the same in an arm or an ear and your legs or fingers and what about the thoughts and the variety of images that speak to your mind's eye as I speak to your mind to remind you that what you speak to yourself speaks for itself as you try to search and find that things may seem to be going one way and to be one thing but turn out to be another. Because two and two are four, but two can also mean also. And no two are alike. It all belongs to you and to your own ability to relax those two years too and to begin to know that you really don't know what it means. You don't really know what yes means and what means no here, though you may try to guess where you're going, to go or not go. You don't know that there is no real way to know how to let go, while holding on or to recognize that there is nothing you need to try to know to do or not do, because everything you do allows you to recognize that you already know that and can say, just as I can say many different things And there is no need for you to make the effort it takes to try to make the effort to pay close attention to each thing I say or don't say because there was a time when the effort to train the mind to stay on track was not worth the trip that led the mind back to that time of peaceful, calm awareness, of effortless letting go now and knowing that you don't need to try to hear or even understand what I might say later on here today because the conscious mind can go anywhere it wishes while I continue to talk to your unconscious mind. Continues to hear 
the way you overhear a conversation or a radio station while driving. You don't even need to do anything at all. It all belongs to you as you begin to hear the way you do here and now with eyes closed, comfortable. That voice or sound in the background of the mind as you listen to that show and it showed you how to notice the relaxed drifting glow of a slow sound show of quiet calmness and thoughts like dreams following themselves as I spoke turning spokes in a wheel turning where we'll be drifting effortlessly down a path into a quiet still place now where words can remind your mind of those things needed for you right now that's right. You see, because it is easy to pay close attention to things that are wrong. It's easy to be a critic, to find fault with everything. It's easy to find reasons to not feel good, to not feel comfortable, to hide from oneself and others. It's easy to not like yourself or to not trust yourself to be okay. It's harder to have the courage to see things in a different light. It's harder to take a risk and to enjoy yourself, your life and other people. It's harder to say what the heck, to not care what anyone thinks. It's hard to give yourself permission to feel good no matter what, or is it? Maybe it's easy, maybe it's easy to do, but you have been afraid to do it so far because you do know how, and you can do it now. But sometimes it feels wrong to really believe you're okay. When you might be wrong, but who's to say? And so from now on, I want you to know it's okay to do that crazy thing, to let yourself feel that way. You can do it now, today, or you can do it tomorrow. You can see what is okay about you and what you do. You can see those things quite clearly and feel quite comfortable too. You can alter your mind and alter your mood even if you have to pretend for a while. That this new way of thinking and feeling is because of something you took, a pill perhaps, or something that was done to you, hypnosis, perhaps. And you really can't help it. That's just the way you feel confident, happy and pleased, knowing that feeling is real. So you can do it now, or you can let your unconscious do it for you. No matter which path you pick, it'll happen anyway. So you don't have to know what's gotten into you when your whole way of thinking about you changes now and then. You see, because we both know now that you can scare yourself because you have an active mind and a reactive body. And if you think that scary thing, even for a brief moment, it has been scaring you. But we also both know that there are other things you can think that are comfortable and calming relaxing and reassuring thoughts or images that you can use instead to replace those other thoughts to help yourself relax to maintain that relaxed calm feeling you can let your unconscious mind learn all it needs to know to be able to distract you from those scary thoughts to be able to provide you with those relaxing thoughts when you need them most and I think you will enjoy being happily unconcerned, unable to remember to worry in exactly the same way or at the same time. So from now on, when you enter that situation, you can enter it knowing you're protected and can tell that part of you that tries to do its job by telling you that there are things to be afraid of here, that you really don't need it anymore and don't want to hear it anymore. 
And so we can either go away or find a different game to play. And remind you now instead of the good things that might happen here. Or the fun things that might occur later. Because those old thoughts and fears are not useful anymore. So you can relax and forget it. And go on about your business, surprised to discover, perhaps, that you have been thinking about something else entirely. And you will know at that point, deep down in every cell of your body, that you won't ever have to feel that again. That it is over and done with more rapidly than you expected. Though not as soon as you would have liked. You can do it now, or you can do it later. You can frighten yourself with that thought, or you can calmly relax yourself with a different thought. That's right. So practice and choose now because it all belongs to you. As you know only too well, nobody is perfect. But you have yet to be imperfectly imperfect. So what you need to do is this, in order to become more comfortable this weekend when nobody will see you, I want you, if you're a woman, to buy some bright red lipstick, the brightest red you can find, and you rub just a little of that lipstick on that part of you you might think is ugliest. Rub it on your most embarrassing part and start then walking around with that red red for an entire day and every time you see something red remember that red place on you you will do that even though you do not understand why i might be telling you to will you not good good for you and if you're a man i want you to find that article of clothing that makes you feel the most amazing the most confident the most capable the most handsome and you're going to wear that thing twice this week and you will feel those wonderful feelings perhaps a cologne that makes you feel amazing you will wear that cologne and associate that cologne with those amazing feelings of confidence and self-love you see there are so many things that you want to achieve so many things that you perhaps have been putting off I could tell you that you will have an irresistible urge, a driving desire to do those things you complain you keep putting off. And I could tell you, while you drift in and out of trance, that you will get great satisfaction out of doing those things you haven't, that nothing else will seem to be as fun. And that may work, but the only way we'll know for sure is if you do your very best to fight that idea, that impulse to not do those things better for a while, if you can, or to not do them very well if you must. Because I know it will be different to not do these things for a while. So I'm going to give you permission to go ahead and do some things, but just those things you have to do. So remember to just do what you need to do and to try to force yourself to put off everything else so that those hypnotic suggestions have time to build up in force while you resist them as much as possible. And just do those things, whatever things you feel you have to do, but keep fighting that hypnotic urge to do everything at once as much as you can. So now you know what to do. You know what needs to be done and all you need to do is to do it right for you to let yourself do it in the way you can. So I would like to give you an opportunity to carefully review and rehearse now, to imagine every moment, every movement, to experience every sound, to see it all clearly in your mind like watching something on your mind's VCR, to let your unconscious go over it with you, to review and practice it carefully, step by step and to rewind and play back all the way through, or even to stop the action here and there, so that you know exactly what to do and know that you can do it, and know how you will do it. So go ahead now, review every part, go over it as often as you need to, to know it is a part of you, 
Take your time. Do it thoroughly. And when you are there, just allow those images to get brighter and more vivid. That's right. And as you sit there, continuing to relax and think about the problem that you've been trying to overcome, I wonder if you know that tip of the tongue feeling when trying to remember a name or an idea or the answer to a question, the solution to a problem that you know you know, but it is just out of reach, though you can taste it and you know you know it. But the harder you look for it, the further away it goes. It is like it hides until you stop, then it pops into your mind. Suddenly, you know what it is that you could not find before. It is like your unconscious mind waits until you look away, waits until you give up or stop trying so hard. Then it gives you the answer, the way in Ireland they say you can only see elves out of the corner of your eye, off to the side where they hide. You can only see them when you're not looking right at them. Or the way a perfect present for someone you know jumps out at you when you're looking for something else. But when you go shopping for their birthdays or Christmas, there's nothing more difficult than finding the right thing. A part of us knows and will give us what is needed, will give the answer to you when you just relax. Which may be why Zen koans work the way they do. Questions like, what is the sound of one hand clapping? Or what is a mouse that roars? that the students ponder and wonder about and try to figure out and cannot make sense of until they give up entirely. And then the answer comes to mind, a mind-blowing answer that answers everything and gives them peace of mind. So knowing that you already know exactly what you need to know and what you need to do, even if you do not know exactly what the question is or where the answer is, you can feel it deep down below inside you and ask your unconscious mind to show you what is needed then forget about it for a moment or two or even a day or two and then suddenly there it is a wish come true a gift for you from your own unconscious that just comes through into awareness now see, I wonder if you're familiar with fences, especially the electric fences used with horses. These fences have a few tiny strands of wire. And through that wire goes a current of electricity. And not the kind of electricity that is dangerous, just the kind that gives you a jolt, like static electricity you get from walking on rugs, a sudden sharp spark. These wires stretch all around the field, and as the horses walk from place to place, they quickly learn where they can go and where they don't want to venture. All it takes is a few brushes against the wire, a few sudden startling zaps, and being very smart animals, they learn to look out, but not touch. They learn so well, in fact, that after a while, the farmer can turn off the electricity or even replace the wires with strain, and those horses will stay put, fenced in by nothing at all, stopped in their tracks by a thought, by the feeling that some places are off limits, that where they are is safe, as long as they just stay put, satisfied to be where they are, an invisible barrier or boundary created by the mind. But once one horse goes through it, then they all will follow behind. That barrier shattered and broken with no restraints on where to go next. But where to go next is a problem, a problem everyone faces. And not everyone knows how to solve, which is probably why. You can earn a fortune these days telling people their fortunes. 
and giving advice on what they should do. We don't know how a horse knows where to go, but we do know that once they know where they're going, it is difficult to stop them or rein them in. Because once a tired, hungry horse sees that stable or barn at the bottom of a hill, all you have to do is give it free rein, and it will take you there as quickly and as surely as it can, because it wants to be comfortable, and it wants to be fed, and once it knows where to go, to get what it wants, even an imaginary boundary can be leaped over on the way to that goal. What fun! to hold on tight and just let it run trusting that it will take you there swiftly and surely that is a pleasure every child can treasure and so could most adults if they allow themselves to do so the way you are doing now And so before you allow yourself to drift up completely into conscious wakeful awareness, it may be useful for you to utilize the opportunity now to think about what you've experienced, the thoughts, images, understandings, conscious or unconscious, and how you might use these things later on from one day to the next. Because you have an unconscious mind and you have a conscious mind, and those two minds can learn from your experiences here right now listening to my voice. Some things that you can utilize to deal more effectively with those things that have been problems for you before. And so before you continue to drift up into conscious awareness, normal wakeful awareness, it is your privilege to use this comfortable self-awareness to become more aware of those things you can use later on those learnings, abilities, and skills that you may have overlooked before, perhaps, to give you a new view of the possibilities for a new way of thinking and feeling and doing things. That's right. Take some time now, a brief time that seems to be a long time to review and plan at some level of awareness. Those things you will do later on, those things you may change later on, as you begin to use more and more of you. You can use that time now because in a few moments from now, when you drift up and awaken, it may be interesting for you to know that in that drifting, relaxed state of mind you're in, where thoughts drift by like dreams that enter awareness for a time and drift through the mind, while some are left behind to be utilized later on and others are remembered or seem to be remembered at first, but then become more and more distant, forgotten over time, and the entire experience can seem so far away. As your unconscious mind protects the conscious mind and leaves those things behind, forgotten but remembered too, and time changes too, so you can know what a trance it's been when you begin to know that what seemed to take a short time turns out to have been a long time or what seemed a long time was really no time at all. So for now, as the unconscious mind allows the conscious mind to become more aware of sounds, sounds in the room, the sound of my voice, the sensations in an arm, a leg, the variety of thoughts and feelings as the conscious mind drifts up and conscious awareness, that's right, wakeful awareness returns quite completely now up to the surface of wakeful awareness as I come from one to five, restfully refreshed, comfortably awake, even as the mind drifts off completely, when I reach five, your eyes will open, you will be wide awake, taking all the lessons and teachings and the suggestions I've given your subconscious mind. One, that's right, taking a deep breath in, head clearing, throat clearing, chest clearing, feeling that confidence take over you, that motivation, that fearlessness, free from all those things that used to hold you back two and three and four and five wide awake now welcome back hope you enjoy that trance experience let me know send me a message let me know what was your biggest takeaway and after you listen to this and when you see those things unfolding in your life let me know what were the results